Okay, what's up everyone? Um, so today we're gonna be triggering and monitoring workflows in GitHub Actions. So hopefully if you're listening to this, you know what GitHub Actions is, but for anyone that doesn't, GitHub Actions is a continuous integration and continuous delivery platform that allows you to automate, build, test, and you know basically monitor all the steps of your code deployment pipelines. Now, as a result of this, they actually give you these things called GitHub runners. Now, GitHub runners are essentially bits of infrastructure, so virtual machines, uh, but you know they're the compute that you need to run the steps that are part of your CI CD process. And as a result, you can actually use GitHub for all sorts of things. Um, and one of those is obviously, you know, running running workflows. So very popular pattern is basically run a job in some kind of open source framework like Miltano or DBD core. And, you know, GitHub Actions also gives you a scheduler so you can run these on a cadence. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can essentially integrate that with Orchestra. Um, and yeah, we can talk about some of the benefits as well. Cool. So I'm here in the Orchestra portal. In order to connect GitHub, basically just create a connection for it. So I'm going to go here and search GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and select this. This is going to be GitHub DT Core. And then we need the personal access token. Now we can see here what we have to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the important thing is essentially to go to your settings page in GitHub. So this is me. And then you've got to scroll down here into developer settings, head to personal access tokens. And then you can go ahead and create a token. So do this, create the value, and then you're going to go ahead and come back here. So I'm just going to put in a dummy token here, and that won't work. Well, apparently it did work. Um, but the main reason, so <clears throat> the main reason this did work is that Normally, what we'll do when we bring a connection in is we'll hit some endpoint to make sure it can do something, right? But the thing is with GitHub is there's no obvious endpoint that you need to do that for. Um, you know, there's no sort of like server um, because tokens are scoped to a repository. But in any case, um, we can see that there's a nice little credential here that I've got, um, and this and this works too. But yeah, basically, just generate a personal access token and you're good to go. Um, you know, make sure that it has the right permissions. Um, something I always forget to do is I always forget to change the resource owner. Um, obviously, if I go to Hugo Lou and try to select some repositories, there's, there's not really anything there. Um, but yeah. Okay, so back to it. I'm going to go to um, my pipelines, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new pipeline. Let's get our actions. Just give it a manual trigger for now. We go get this GitHub run workflow. So this is actually going to run some DBT core, um, and now is probably a good time to show you what we've got in this repo. So this is just an examples repo, um, and it's super simple. If we look at some of the code we've got, this is basically just the DBT core Jaffle shop demo. Um, so, you know, I can sort of go into profiles.yaml, which I would never normally be able to do because this would contain secrets, but I can see, you know, we're just going to use .db. Um, and, you know, it's basically just all going to be local. And then we look at models, you've obviously got stuff like customers, um, orders, and then we've got this nice schema, which is defining some tests, some data quality tests, which we love. And then... In order to run this, uh, we've got this run dbt core.yaml file, and it's important that this is in your .github workflows directory. And you probably have this already, right? If you've ever ran anything on GitHub Actions before, you probably have this already. Um, but just for completeness, you know, what are we doing? Essentially picking the virtual environment, getting requirements, printing out the dbt version, running dbt bug, dbt build, and then I've just put that in so this fails. 
um, just just for just for the hell of it. So if we go back to orchestra, you now need to add the different parameters. So in this case, our repository owner is orchestra HQ. The repo is examples. And the workflow ID is simply run dbt, run dbt core dot yaml. The ref is the branch name. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to be a bit cheeky. Just publish that straight up. And I'm going to run it. I'll come back in a sec. OK, cool. So we've run this. Um, and we can see it's failed, which is what was expected, because we had that um, command in the GitHub action that was going to call this, cause this to fail. And we can go ahead and see what's going on. So platform message is 200 OK. Looks like we were able to trigger everything fine. Um, we've got a run ID back, so it's definitely running. Um, now we can go ahead and take a look at the lineage. So no message available. However, we do have hopefully some metadata. Ah, OK, not yet. So what we need to do is edit this pipeline to fetch the artifacts. So by confirming metadata collection, we're essentially going to tell Orchestra that this isn't just any GitHub action. This is a GitHub action that's running a series of dpt core jobs. And in order for you to make the most of this, you basically just have to save down the artifacts. So if I go back to my YAML file, you can see that I've got this little bit here where I'm saving down the manifest and I'm also saving down the run results. So now that I've done this and I've selected this, let's go ahead and save this. So adding metadata collection and publish and run again. Okay, so this is completed and we can go ahead and check it out. Now, you can see Orchestra is actually in the process of fetching metadata. And oh, I love it when this happens. You can just reload the page. Wow, OK, awesome. So even though this is a DBT, this is a GitHub action, um, we've, got, we've, got, we've got this basic data. But because we've told Orchestra that under the hood, it's actually running a DBT model, we can see everything that's happened, which is super cool. How awesome is that? So we can even see all the tests that have run, how long they've taken. Um, and this is so powerful, right? Because now you can start to incorporate like flows in your GitHub actions alongside other things. So you know, often speak to folks that are doing some kind of basic data ingestion, right? Maybe some data ingestion with Fibra. And then they're you know normally running DBT doing it on actions, and then everything is scheduled. Everything is staggered, right? And like that's that's annoying. Um, you know, sometimes we have people who are also running Snowflake queries, right? So for example, kicking off a task. So you say, you know, <clears throat> execute task, kick off task, right? So like that. And then finally, you know, you might be refreshing a dashboard, like distributing a dashboard in something like Power BI. And, you know, in order for them to go from this is running at midnight, this is running at 2 a.m., this is running at 4 a.m., they need something like Airflow. And that's obviously complete overkill, but it also means that, you know, everything is stitched up. So, you know, with orchestra, you're basically getting an awful lot, right? You're getting the ability to stitch up 
GitHub Actions with everything in a really easy way. Um, you're obviously making the most of your infrastructure, right? There's no need here for me to be, you know, paying for some kind of heavy compute instance to run dbt core when, you know, maybe you only need like four threads and it only runs for like five minutes every hour, right? GitHub is free. Just use GitHub and Snowflake, right? It's like, there's a cost of doing that if you can't stitch it together, right? So we sort of help you eke out that efficiency by doing that platform integration. Um, and yeah, that's basically the benefit. Um, oh, and of course, of course, the metadata and alerting, um, which is which is pretty non-trivial. Um, but yeah, that's a summary of how you can use Orchestra to get a really awesome DBT core experience, uh, even if you're just using GitHub Actions. Um, let me know what you thought of this video, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, just uh, ping me if you want to chat. Thank <laughs> you.